Hey there, it's your real estate agent, and today I've got a special treat. So it's my first uh, episode of my community event series, and this week we have Jaris Honder and Jeremy Smith with the Roswell Music Festival. So welcome, guys. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, excited Good to be here. To be here. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here, too. Well, and funny fact, these two are both in real estate as well. So Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's a fun fun room here. We can, we've can we got you covered, All commercial or residential. That's right. But um, OK, guys, so every episode, I ask a real estate question, and I will ask you, mm-hmm. would you prefer in-town walkability um, to restaurants and shops and that kind of thing, or acreage out in the country and lots of privacy see i i I live in a live work community i live right in downtown okay roswell so can street i I love it i love the vibe vibrant restaurants i love everything about it and uh so for me it's kind of hard to say living in a country but uh or living in the country i should say yeah uh but um I would take that too, but yeah. you know, it's just, I, I love being able to park my car and walk everywhere. It's, yeah. it's just a good feeling every Friday, just being set, um, going to pick up groceries, bottle of wine, whatever it is, and just have your car parked. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. I think, what about you, Jaris? Yeah, I'm a little bit of both also. I love the country. Yeah. I want to have a farmhouse out in the country, but I obviously love Cannon Street. That's kind of yeah. my so, stomping grounds. So you need a, a <laughs> so, weekend getaway is what you're saying. That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, good. Well, so um, the Roswell Music Festival, it's coming up uh, yes. here May 20th, and yep. I'm going to just let you guys take it. Tell us tell us about this and how it, it came to be and or, and. So, yeah, it's May 20th in the old Wells Fargo parking lot behind Rock and Taco Gate City. Okay. Um, it's going to be from uh, 1 to 10 p.m., and we've got six bands, and it kind of came to fruition. We started talking about this about a year ago with the team that we have in place now. Um, in the past, we uh, with a different team and a different sort of format, we tried to do this before, but then... COVID hit right when we were kind of getting the ball rolling and it just kind of shut down the whole industry. Sure. So we had to kind of back off of that for a while and focus on other things. But um, then uh, we met uh, who's now a very good friend of ours, True Rickers, and he's the director. And he came out and said, you know what, let's resurrect a Roswell Music Festival and I want you guys to do it with me. And we're like, we're in. Let's do it. Fant- the world is open again. Let's have some fun. So, yeah. well, that's awesome. Yeah. And so, you guys are the organizers along yeah. with yeah. the team. That There's a board of four, four of us. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Well, true, uh, Jeremy Ford, who's also a Roswell resident, and us two. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, so, um, tell me about the band. Like, where, are, who's finding the bands? How are you getting the music? And so, tell us what's well, that. So, look true's. Like. True comes from a production background. That's kind of how this all got started. Mm-hmm. And um, he really took the lead. We we started off this all off just kind of brainstorming and going through different bands that we like and different bands that we could possibly get. And it just kind of kept on shrinking and shrinking. Wow, they're too much. Maybe next year. Yeah. Wow, There's they're, a lot they're, of discussion they're about on bands. tour. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of kept on shrinking. Um, we used some uh, people in the industry. Uh, to find what we have now. Um, after some discussions with other residents in Roswell, we decided to go with three uh, cover tribute bands and three original bands. All right. Which I think is going to be a little a, bit. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just going to be a good mix of, hey, I want to see the Highwaymen, who they're country music people, or, hey, I want to see the Allman Brothers. I yeah. love them. So, and then we have these original bands that are great, especially our closer. Uh, yeah, Avenue. our head our headliner is amazing. They're kind of a soul blues funky. They're very soulful. Um, they've actually been nominated for three Grammys. Oh wow! Uh, they're, so they're a very recognized name. And are any um, of the bands um, bands that people may have seen around Roswell def- before? Oh, or, definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Southern got- Avenue's. Pretty famous yeah. in the, this area. I think they Good. played Wire and Wood a few years back. Okay. Funk U is a, a local Atlanta band as well, um, and they play around town quite a bit. And so. uh, Frankly Scarlet yeah. plays around town a lot. They have, they have a pretty big following. So, yeah, following. our three tribute bands are Almond Brothers. Uh, Frankly Scarlet is a Grateful Dead tribute band. Um, 
and, and then the highway and, and the highwaymen, which, which is I think most most they, people they, know the Johnny they, Cash. Yeah, they tour they tour nationally, and they're amazing. They really bring it. They, I mean, they sound and kind of look a lot like each of the members of the original Highwaymen. Wow. So, yeah, they're cool. pretty, they're really impressive. Yeah, they're going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so um, what are your your long-term goals for this? Are you guys, are we wanting this to be an annual event um, now yeah, that absolutely. COVID's gone and we can? Yes. Absolutely. That's our goal is to make it a long-term annual event, could just kind of grow it year after year. And potentially what we'd like to do is do a spring, a spring festival like we're doing now with a central stage location. Mm-hmm. Um and maybe in the fall, do a more like 30A style singer songwriter event where we just nice. kind of pack out the bars and restaurants with uh, musicians, and musicians and have it a and weekend, a weekend, a weekend sure. long yes. event. Right. Um, so that would be something to strive for for the fall. Yeah. Um, so we'll have two kind of different formats for the festival. Well, I mean, it's it is for sure going to be an, a great addition to all the. The cool festivals we already have here in Roswell with the beer festival and the yeah, wine. We needed a <laughs> music know. festival. We, we like it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, and, and um, we saw the need, and you know, Jarrah's coming from a little bit of a music background. But, yeah. Um, you know, that's we, a we, different we, podcast. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I'm like, different we might have a part two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, um, and am I correct? This uh, some of the the. Um, Fees and, and that kind of thing go toward to a nonprofit. You guys support a nonprofit? Yes. So we are affiliated with a organization called Gold Star Mentors. Mm-hmm. And what they do is they provide um, a guitar and lessons to children of veterans who have passed away either in combat or by suicide. Oh, wow. And so it's a, a music therapy type of organization. So they give them the instrument, they teach them how to play. And really, if you if you go to their website, it's goldstarmentors.com. And you watch the videos and the children and how they, you know, the things that they have overcome through the music therapy, it's really touching. It's it's quite moving, actually. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. Pretty, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing and organization. That, yeah. So Well, and what a neat um, a neat uh, group to support with, with right. this yeah. kind of a festival. Right? Yeah, right. and they're, they're out of Nashville. And one of okay. the, the guys that um, put it together, his name is Brett Jones, and he's a big country singer-songwriter out of Nashville. He's had bunch of top hits and um oh and that reminds me we didn't mention troy who is kicking off the festival at one o'clock and he's a nashville guy too he's kind of a soul um like funk Mm. pop sort of sort of new genre yeah Yeah, he's great and he's a great entertainer he's a great great stage uh presence so he's really fun too well and so let me ask are you guys are we sold out we're not sold out yet vip is though okay vip is sold out um, and we still, it's a pretty big space, so we still have general admission tickets available, um, but they're, they're picking up. It's, okay. It's, yes. start, and it's where, selling. Where so. can people, um, uh, buy their tickets with your website or your, so they can go to the re- website, uh, www.roswellmusicfestival.com or they can go directly to fresh ticks and search for Roswell yep. music fest. Okay. There's a lot festival. of festival. Um, or if you go to our Facebook page or Instagram, there's always somewhere to link. And there's an event page perfect. where you can click. You can see the lineup and the description. So if they want to find it, they can find it. All you have to do is search the Roswell so. Music Festival. <laughs> I hope so. so yeah. Well, good. Well, um, and then I know this kind of thing doesn't just happen. So I know there's some great sponsors involved. And I think um, we'll we'll add a, a list of all the sponsors. But are there any, yeah. I think you mentioned a couple that you wanted to mention? Yeah. yeah, we're working with, you know, we, we since everything is kind of all about Roswell, we wanted to work with the big local sponsors here in Roswell. Um, the presenting sponsor will be Carl Black GMC. So um, they do a lot for the city. Yeah, I they mean, do. they do, and, and we can't wait to have them. Uh, we also have Variant and Gate City. So Variant will be taking over the VIP area. Gate City right. is doing City. the general admission so beer sales. So they kind of have dual. That's awesome. Yeah, so well, it's, it's good because we wanted to keep it local as much as possible yeah. and kind of keep it in the community. And we all, we're all residents, and we love Roswell. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we and I know all those guys local. all love each other. They all, every, they, they they, all play. I think, they play again, nicely I mentioned together. this all the time, but I just think it's so cool and special how all the businesses and, and 
groups up and down. Really Canton, support and within each Roswell. other yeah, a lot. Yeah, they're super supportive yeah. of one another. Yeah. So. One of the other bigger ones is uh, the 1076 Club, which is the new private club on Kent Street. Sure, so okay. They okay. have uh, they have their own area, their own little VIP area. So Very yeah. nice. if you all remember, members. there you go. Yep. I'll, I'll plug I, that for them. If you all remember, mm-hmm. you get your you get own your, VIP. Today. Nice, nice. Well, I know a lot of people are, are excited about that as well. Yes. So, um, And then... Let's see here. Oh, volunteers. Do you guys have all the help you need, or, or do you need more volunteers? We could probably use a few more. We have we have a list of a good handful, but yeah. we, I think we could probably use about five or ten more volunteers yeah, at this just, point. Yeah, just helping with stage setup, you know. Not uh, even too much of that. And it's ticketing not too much, and, yeah, it's and like some, easy some of that stuff. stuff. It okay. is very easy, and you get to enjoy some good music. You know, sure. we're not gonna. It's gonna be two shifts. There's gonna be an afternoon and an evening shift. Yeah, okay, so and they can just go to your website to. They can just go to the website. Sign up for uh, that. Roswell and then, Music Festival. Yeah, there's an email info at RoswellMusicFestival.com that you can email all of your information, and we'll get back to you as far Perfect. as the volunteering. All right. Yeah. Well, so anything else we need to mention for for everyone? Um, um, just I don't know. Maybe we want to give a shout out to Dave. He's one of our sponsors yeah, Dave too. McPherson. Dave McPherson with Southeast Elite Entertainment. He does all of the the stage and production for Live After Five. Oh, okay. Also. Yeah. And so, yeah. Um, Once again, another. They're handling that for local us. Local Roswell. And, yep. Yes. Yep. Um, I mean, our we, town we is love awesome. Dave. If you're yes. not from Roswell, mm-hmm. you need to come visit. Yeah. Yes. This is the best town in Georgia. It really is. It really is. Um, Well, cool. Well, I know you both are going to love this because um, you are in real estate, but you each, for for coming on my podcast, you each get Bill Estate swag. You can look really cool. Oh, that's great. You can can cover up my face when you're carrying it around (laughs) with your drink. But but anyway, now I really appreciate y'all coming on. And I I love that... um, you know, we're going to start this community events um, spotlight series as well. So um, other groups like like y'all can come on and and highlight your your festivals and parties and, and whatever else. Awesome. So yeah. um, y'all, uh, good luck with everything. Thank I can't you. wait. And I'm I, hopefully we'll I can be there. there. I, know, right? I, I, yeah. I, I think I should be there. I was yeah, looking at the day. everyone there I May know. 20th. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a. You know, it's I think I said it at a Roswell next meeting. It's going to be a Roswell party. So, yeah. Um, so. Hope to see everyone out there. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, y'all. And until next time, I'm your real estate agent. Thanks. <laughs>